Leo Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can add images to pattern swatches in Illustrator. Now the key thing, first thing is window and swatches. So you can actually see the swatches panel. There's a swatches panel over there. Now I've just I've removed some of the uh, standard default patterns, so and swatches. So now you can see so you can see it a bit clearer. Now here's some designs that I can actually use and drag into the swatches. These are image designs. That's a tartan design available on the Graphic Extras website. You can find it on there, as well as obviously some images like from Poser and other images created. Now, you'll notice what I've done here. I've actually got them still not embedded. So the key thing is when you do a file and place to bring an image in, so file, place, and just select an image, I don't know, just select that one or another one, you can then place it, and as soon as you do that, you'll notice that it actually needs to be embedded. If you try and drag that into swatches, it will not work. You need to click embed. So just embed, and then you can just simply drag that in. You can see it there. Now, there's another one. Again, you can see it's haven't embedded it. So click embed, and then you can drag that into there. You can also, of course, still modify it. So you can actually turn around and say, well, I can rotate that. I can also apply, edit, edit colors, and adjust color balance. So I can modify it, set preview on, and you can see the color, make it a bit more orange there, or yellow, or clear. Okay, then I can drag that in as well. Now, of course, the result might not be, it probably won't be seamless. In some of these designs, you can clearly see that is not gonna be seamless. So, but you can just see, you can actually add it to the pattern swatches. That's the key thing. And again, you can go here. Now this one, you can see it's slightly different. So if I just drag that over there, you can actually see it's got transparency. So you've actually just, you can see through to the, the background. So what you can do, again, embed, and just drag that over there. And it keeps that, so that transparency. So just gonna remove that now. I don't want that anymore. That one, and likewise, that one. Again, so if I drag that over, you'll see it just doesn't allow it. So embed so click that and then just drag into there right well once you've done that that's it you've got them all the patterns in the actual swatches panel and just going to select obviously a very basic path but you can use stars any other shapes as well and also type much more so i'm just going to select that obviously it currently is there you can just check but then i can select that so you can see design again it's not seamless you can see the and if I actually duplicate that, you can actually see the transparency. So you can actually just see, you can add on top. And there's the one be below, obviously, you just see there. So you can create some very interesting designs just by just dragging around a few paths there. Okay, remove that. And again, you've got the there or that one. And again, as you can see now, obviously, you haven't got a very particularly brilliant pattern, but it's, a, it's still a pattern, the pattern swatch. And again, you've got the design there and that design there. Again, it doesn't have to be seamless. And of course you can make quite a large image and actually add that into the swatches and then it doesn't particularly matter. You can just use it as a background, maybe as a texture for a you know, whole range of things using blending modes, create some interesting designs using these pattern swatches in that way. Now, I'm just gonna go back to that one. So that's what you can do. You can also manipulate it. So you can actually manipulate it within there. You can of course go to object and pattern and edit pattern and you can see you've got the design there you can manipulate it within this if you wish recolor it so just go to edit edit colors just color balance and again just modify it again preview set on you can see you've got the color there maybe make it more green click ok and then save a copy okay and cancel so you can see now you've got another design there so which you can apply as well what you can also do and i'm just going to go back to maybe that one. You can also go to edit, object I should say, object, transform and scale. And you can see what happens there, you've got scale, you've got transform objects. I don't want that on. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna set that. And you can see what happens then, you've got the uniform 25% or maybe 200% and then, or 300%. Obviously at some point it just gets worse and worse. But there you can do that, you can scale it as well. As well as, of course, click OK. You can go to Object Transform and Rotate. So you can also rotate, you can see the rotation. Again, making certain that Transform Objects is not set on, otherwise the actual path will rotate it around as well. 
and Coke. Right, hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.